Hey, what's up, you guys? I know I haven't made a video in a while, but um, I'm back, and I'm a little disappointed, just to let you guys know. I did pick up the new um, Off-White Presto in black, the one that just recently came out, um, aka the 10 Nike Air Presto. As you can see, the box is beat up. I'm starting to think that's DHL, because my box has come double box, so I'm sure they just throw it around. Anyway, to get into the shoe. Now, on the surface, they look pretty good. I'm sure everyone can agree. But once you get into those minor details that count, you start to understand why I'll be disappointed. Now, this little orange tab here is correct. For the most part, the stripe is correct with the stitching. I do think it's supposed to be a little more bunched up here, but that's a pass. The um, holes in the toe box, is they are correct. Everything is correct, 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 until you get into these small little details that I'm about to show you. Like, where is it? It's not this shoe. It's the other shoe. So basically, the first thing I noticed was that it's a smudge. Let's see if you guys can see it. Oh, my camera is not picking it up. There's a smudge above the X. Let's see. And my camera is not picking it up, maybe because the flash. As you can see it a little bit at the top of the X. There's a smudge there. As you can see, the um insole looks a bit crooked. Uh, secondly, um, third of all. The zip tie is not supposed to say 2018. It's supposed to say 2017 because that's when it was created. And even on the inside tag, it says 2017. And I've looked up photos online. It would make sense that it would be 2018 since they came out in 2018. But Virgil, he does the, um, he puts the year on the zip tie in which the idea was created. And so since it was originated in 2017 it's supposed to say c 2017 zip tie that's another issue i had the third one um only the orange shoelaces are supposed to come in the box i also had to do research on that i got these other two as well it's just sloppy work i don't feel like they're really paying attention like i said these companies after a while they start to get lazy and they start to get comfortable and for that i'm gonna have to look into other companies as you can see it's a glue stain here just the little things. It's like, you know, when you get something new or early from any site in China, that's a risk that you take. That's why I don't like to order things so early until they get like their second and third batches out. But these were a um, supposed pre-order for someone, but I'm gonna let them know all of the flaws if they don't see this video yet. And I'm gonna see what they wanna do, but I, I don't want to have to ship back to China just because it's going to be maybe $20, $30, and then you have to wait. It's more of the waiting process that bothers me. I don't want to have to wait too long for them to get the shoe and then wait for them to ship one back. That's going to take about two, three weeks in total. So it's like maybe they give a discount. We'll see. Go from there. But I'm definitely going to switch companies and just go back and forth, back and forth see what we can do um i have a few companies i'm going to check out that i've heard good things about and that's basically it tell me what you guys think excuse me tell me what you guys think please continue to like comment subscribe and share remember to follow my instagram the k souls ask me any questions some of you guys have taken advantage of that i want to thank all of the subscribers who've contacted me who's been watching my videos i appreciate you i will be doing a giveaway soon so stay tuned for the details and everything. Thanks.